Welcome to Adventures in Storyland, where we read and retell classic fairy tales. Today, I'm going to give you my retelling of Rapunzel. I did not like that story, and so I hope you guys enjoy my retelling of Rapunzel. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a baker and his wife who lived in a small cottage at the edge of a village, and next to them lived an old woman who people suspected was a witch. But since they lived next door to her, they knew that really she was just a bit odd and spent her days talking to the various plants she had growing in her beautiful garden. Now, life was peaceful and nice for the baker and his wife, um, except for one thing. They were very sad as they began to realize they could not have children. And one day, as the old woman was walking in her garden, she happened upon the wife crying because she was so sad that she would never have a child. Well, said the old woman after she had heard what was the matter, maybe I can help you with that. And so she went through her garden and picked a variety of herbs and greens and gave them to the woman and said, eat some of these and tomorrow I'll give you more and we'll see if we can't do something about it. As it happened, a lot of it was that the woman just hadn't been eating the right foods to be healthy enough. And so the old woman giving her these herbs helped her to grow strong enough. And eventually she realized that she did indeed was indeed with child. And she was so excited and happy. But, and once her daughter was born, she went to the old woman and said, you know, I really want my daughter to grow up in a world that's better than the one that we live in. Can you help me raise her and help give her the best possible life? Well, they both knew that things were kind of difficult for women, especially who were different at the time. And so the woman came up with, the old woman and the, and the wife came up with the idea that they would build a tower and have the child grow up there. And that way they could control what she learned and she wouldn't learn the bad habits of the, of the bad other villagers. And then every single day, the mom and the old woman would bring her various books and scholarly learnings and she would get to practice doing painting and writing and all kinds of things. And eventually, the girl became one of the most intelligent people in the entire kingdom, and they started to send out her writings to various scholarly, scholarly public, blah, 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 publishings at the time. Now the prince in that kingdom happened to be a scholar himself and was so fascinated by what he read from this new writer that he decided to go in search of this scholar. And he would searched far and wide all through the kingdom would ride around and people would go what? Oh, no, 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 you know because and he it wasn't from any of the colleges or universities or places where they you would normally expect learning to be coming from and so one day he came to this tiny village and he thought oh I'm never gonna find this person I am so fascinated by everything they write and he was kind of bummed. And when he came across this old woman, and she said, what are you looking for? He said, well, he told her about his quest to find this scholar who wrote such amazing things. The old woman said, oh, well, that's my, my Rapunzel's writings. I'll tell you what. I'll let you meet her, and if she decides you like her, that she that she likes you, maybe she'll go with you. She? Well, the prince was absolutely amazed because at the time, a woman having that much knowledge was absolutely unheard of. And so he followed the woman eagerly to the tower, and there the old woman called out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let your hair fall and beautiful golden hair fell from the tower 
And so the old woman said, there you are, climb on up. And she herself sent a note with him explaining who this man was. And so she read the note. Hmm. All right. Tell you what, I will talk with you every day for as long as it takes for me to braid one foot of rope as long as you bring the supplies. And if at the end of that time, when I have made enough rope to go with you to leave this tower myself, if I like you, I'll consider leaving. Well, the prince liked this idea. He thought that she seemed both intelligent, intriguing, and beautiful. And so, every day, he brought the supplies to braid, a rope, braid the rope, and they would talk for as long as it would take to braid that one foot. And they enjoyed their conversations quite a bit. And so, after several months had passed, Rapunzel said, all right, I will come with you. And the prince said, I don't just want you to come with me. I'd like to marry you. And she said, hmm. okay. And so they let the rope fastened it securely and out the window, and they both climbed down and lived happily ever after. Snip, snap, snap, story is out. Tip, tap, tin, soon a new one can begin. And she finally got a haircut. Yes, she finally got a haircut. Because <laughs> really, that's a long time to grow out your hair. Dude, 60 feet of hair. Whew, I tell ya, that's way too much. <laughs>